Mr. President, it is with great pride and yet much regret that I stand here today to recognize a dear friend and longtime servant of American agriculture who is retiring from public service. Through nearly 25 years of serving in various capacities on the House and Senate Agriculture Committees, Bernie Hubert has exemplified tremendous character and infectious personality and an astute knowledge of the law for which I admiringly respect and thank him for. I would like to issue a special thanks to his wife Kathleen and daughter Mary Phillips for allowing us to have him in Washington for the past three years while they have lived in Texas. I am eternally grateful for his dedication to agriculture and his encyclopedic knowledge and valued input will certainly be missed. What began as an internship in the House Agriculture Committee for Vernie in 1982 has since blossomed into a distinguished agriculture law career. Before entering law school, he earned a bachelor's degree in biomedical science at Texas A&M University and even served as a first lieutenant in the United States Army Medical Reserve Service Corps after graduation. Upon graduation from St. Mary's University School of Law in 1985, Vernie returned to his beloved South Texas for a brief stint as an assistant prosecutor in Brazos County. Though his heart has always remained in Texas, Vernie returned to the House Agriculture Committee to work with then chairman Kika De La Garza and ranking member Charlie Stenholm, where he served for almost 20 years in various roles as associate counsel, staff director, and legislative director. In 2004, I was fortunate in luring Bernie to the Senate, where he has served as chief counsel on the Senate Agriculture Committee for me since then. We were successful in passing a farm bill last year, and a big reason for that success is due to the tireless, diligent efforts of Bernie Hubert. Seeing that the 2008 farm bill was the fifth farm bill that saw passage during Bernie's tenure, it goes without saying that his experience in negotiating agricultural policy is not going to be easily replaced. In fact, Mr. President, it's impossible to replace a person like Bernie Hubert, not only for his wealth of knowledge, but also for the richness of his character. In the years I have known and worked with him, he has remained a loyal confidant and has always kept America's agriculture, ag American agriculture's best interest at heart. Bernie, you will sincerely be missed by everyone that has had the pleasure of working with you, and I wish you nothing but the best in all your future endeavors. And with that, Mr. President, I would yield back.